In this lesson, we will get familiarized with the Moodle interface area. After logging to Moodle site, you will see the Moodle front page. In the header area, on the top left, we have site name. And on the top right, we have logging bar. And under the logging bar, language drop down menu is present to let you choose the default language. In the left side block area, we have navigation and settings blocks. And in the right side block area, we have site description mentioned along with the calendar. The central area is reserved for displaying courses and their overview. In the footer section, status bar is displayed with a link to Moodle website. Your institution's Moodle may be different from the one as shown. You can also collapse the blocks to reduce the page size. Let's collapse the navigation block by clicking on the minus icon beside the block name. Again click it to expand the block. You can also move the blocks to the dock to increase the course area. Let's click on the dock icon beside the collapse icon to dock the navigation block. Similarly, let's dock the settings block also. Now, you can access the block items by clicking the name of the block. Let's undock the settings block. You can also remove all blocks from the dock by clicking on the undock icon in the bottom left side. You can also change the preferred Moodle language for yourself. Let's expand the language drop down menu to see all the available languages on your institution's Moodle site. And select your preferred language. Now let's start using the navigation block. First, click on the home link. And then, my home. My home is a customizable dashboard page for providing users with links to their courses and activities within them, such as unread forum posts and upcoming assignments. You can also customize the My Home page by clicking the link, Customize this page. When you have finished customizing, click on the home link in the navigation block. All side pages including the side white blog, calendar and tax are listed under the link, side pages in the navigation block. You can view details about your profile by clicking on the link, my profile. You can view your profile by clicking on the link view profile. In the messages link, all the messages sent or received by you are listed along with the contacts. You can also keep your private files within the Moodle course, so that nobody except you will be able to view those files. Now, let's collapse the My Profile tree. And expand the Courses tree. Here, all the courses in which you are enrolled are listed. Now let's collapse the Courses tree. And expand My Profile Settings tree under the Settings block. Here you can change or modify your personal details including your account password. Now, let's collapse the My Profile Settings tree. In the central area of the site, all courses in which you are enrolled are listed. That's it for the Moodle interface area. Thanks for watching.